So as the clock goes past midnight, I'm going to Tuesday morning. We're reaching the final stages of this nine ball handicap tournament. My opponent now is Ray Ray. This is the hot seat match for whoever will sit in the final. And Ray Ray started with a great break. Although he's left me a thin snick on the two ball. Trying to play safe here. Didn't quite make it, left a long shot. On the four. Lots of running English, bringing it all the way around. Oh, unfortunately he's scratched. So I'm using draw and uh, right hand side here, but when it hits the rail, you'll see all the extra English was not required. I just needed draw actually on that. So this is a bit thin. And I've made that hit it a bit thick. So I've we'll got it and look, lo and behold, I've scratched as well. So gifted Ray Ray a chance to clear for the first rack. cooked it. I've to come on for a couple of rails. Try and get the cue ball back in the centre of the table. And he's overcut the eight. So this really is a great opportunity because once again he's an A player. I only need the eight. But here I end up playing it more just left hand, a uh, bit of left hand English and no bottom, no draw. And that's why I scratched, overcut it and scratched. That is the shot that uh, I really like to play with a bit of bottom. So I uh, squandered my opportunity there, gave, um, gave him ball in hand, so he took the eight and there's the nine. So a one nil lead to Ray Ray and too many errors for me. I want to compete with this guy. Uh, rack two, um, there was a little problem with the camera, so that's why we didn't actually see him breaking, but uh, it's the very next shot. I've got a long one, follow forward for the two in the opposite bottom corner pocket. And just off straight, so pushing forward with top and left hand spin, come around the angle, trying to get to just below the pocket line so I can get forward for that four ball. Didn't quite make it, so pushing forward to the center of the table. A little bit too much angle if I want to get directly into the five to break it up, so I've ended up on the wrong side of the five nine. I'm trying to just chip the five up the table and use English to get back in amongst the balls, but gone wrong and I've hung the five over the corner and plus the six actually does pass the nine into that bottom left hand pocket where his uh, hand was and he's played a good shot Ray Ray so he's on the six pushing forward off one rail for the seven in the opposite corner and if you can stop this for the eight in the side so he's come a bit too far he's on the rail but he can push forward he should have a cut along the uh, end rail. But, uh, he's missed it, and this is another opportunity, the second rack running. He's got away with it. I mean, I, I can try the bank, and that's in the end what I elect to do. But that's a very poor effort. I basically just doubled it all the way up to the table. And uh, down there over the corner, so pretty easy for Ray Ray to make it 2-0 here. A little bit of bottom and left hand side. <laughs> he put his whole arm into that. Once again, slightly unorthodox technique. He does have that feathering uh, of the cue we saw with uh, Tony earlier. And uh, he's, he's prone to a little bit of body movement, but he's certainly uh, a good player in his Ray Ray. So, a nice break. Got a ball down. But no shot here, so he's called the push out. The two is hiding behind those two balls. Now I couldn't see what he was trying to set himself up for, so I put him back in. And in the end he was kicking to try and hold the cue ball behind those two balls, which he's done quite well. They were about like acting like stoppers. So I managed to make the jump and I got lucky. I mean, if you do make the jump and you hit the ball, you've every chance for good things to happen. So I jumped back. He almost made the length of the table pot there. 
and I think I can just about snake this in mighty thin and then I'm coming round but I've overshot it I want to try and get the thing in the bottom right corner where my hand was so I'm now trying to chip this onto the five get the cue ball down towards the end rail and it's a fluke so I uh, hold my hand up too thin on the four however although the cue ball's pulling up short so I do have I've left her I do leave him a shot on here and that's a great shot from Ray very nice and another and looking ominous this of course to complete a 3-0 win seven in the side stop it for the eight Just uh, looking like he's going to come across the table. Yep, and uh, with the new cloth, it takes the draw pretty uh, pretty severely, and so that's probably why he drew in the pocket. So you can seize that rack. It's two one. Rack four meter break. Could have been putting a bit more juice into that. I didn't get that hop that I've been getting with the cue ball, and it certainly did make a pop left him a chance to get the one in here and scatter everything nine's moving good shot that and the keyboard just pops out so he's got a shot on the two made the two checked across a long shot on the three and once again you see the zip of that cue ball over screwed that by a few feet and after can, considering the number of options, just played a conservative safety. And I played an ultra conservative shot as well, although in hindsight, I might have done with being a little bit more imaginative there because that's the uh, beginning of the end for me as he plays a wonderful safety, perfect to the millimeter, all the way down and behind the five. And I know it's treacherous on these slippy rails to try and come two rails. You see, I uh, left that one uh, a bit long, caught the seven, and I'm getting hooked again here. He's played another great shot. He's actually put the <laughs> four ball exactly where the cue ball came from in that little gap. So, great knowledge of the angles there. I'm trying to come round off three rails. Yeah, I've hit the six. So, I'm on two fouls, and it's pretty elementary for him to push this forward and lock me up behind the five ball so all I can see here is uh, using a lot of bottom and right hand side draw effectively into the rail and I miscued it third foul game to Ray well played Ray he deserved that but this is actually what I was trying I actually set it up again straight away deep draw right hand side fire it into the rail it checks off the rail cut the four in the side and then come round off three rails for shape on the five ball. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you could uh, have shots again and always have do-overs? So thanks very much to everyone at OnQ Billiards for a wonderful tournament.